Well, welcome back to Contrastly. My name's Simon Plant, and today I want to talk you through a brand new feature launched literally this morning um, in Lightroom called Reference View. So as you know, with Creative Cloud, we get a lot of updates to things like Photoshop and Lightroom. And sometimes those updates are just small bug fixes or new support for Camera Raw for new cameras. Uh, but occasionally we get some uh, little gems where uh, Lightroom has in introduced some uh, really cool features. And today's feature, to some, you'll probably think, well, what's all the fuss about? But for me, uh, this is quite a handy new feature. And it's called Reference View. So we know that when we go and develop a picture in Lightroom, we can then apply the same settings to another image or a set of images to give it a similar look. But sometimes when you've got an image that is exposed uh, completely differently and the subject matters are quite a bit different, the the, uh, the settings that you uh, ch uh, copy over don't have the same feel and therefore you have to go in and tweak them. So uh, no big deal, but, if you um, went into the develop module and you had an image like this and you were trying to uh, you're trying to get it to look a little bit more like a previous picture you had in a folder you didn't have a way of doing it you, you had to try and remember the settings and then keep going backwards and forwards through the library and the develop module but now we've got this thing called reference view so literally we can click on the little panel down here and it will give you a, uh, a uh, another image to compare it to while you're working on it. So let's say I had this image already developed exactly the way I wanted it to, and I wanted to uh, adjust the settings on this image to kind of match it a bit more closely. Um, I can now compare the two images while I'm working on it to get the uh, the look a little bit more um, right for, between the two images. So let me demonstrate, probably easier to demonstrate than to uh, talk you through it. So let's, uh, I'm just going to come out of the reference view and I'm going to work on this image very quickly. I'm going to make some adjustments to it just, just very quickly to, to prove, uh, show you what I mean. So first thing I'm going to do is probably warm this image up. Um, I may just bring down the highlights a little bit if needed or bring them up a little bit uh, same with my shadows that's okay there uh, I may want to apply a, uh, a effect a bit of flare so we draw out a nice uh, gradient radial filter like so uh, make sure that, that's reversed, just going to invert the mask, that's it. Um, so maybe I'll bring up the, the whites here, um, add a bit more warmth to it, uh, bring down the dehaze, add a bit more of a flare look, etc. Uh, a bit more warmth, uh, come out of there, maybe I want to add a little bit negative clarity to the picture to soften it up a little bit. Uh, Maybe do a little bit of split toning. So let's bring up the warmth in the picture. And that's quite nice, like green. Same with the shadows. I don't know, something, something like that. You get the idea. So we're just making some some adjustments to the image. Okay, so let's leave it there. So I can apply that just in normal Lightroom. Just apply that by selecting the next image and go to sync and I can just sync everything okay and we should get in a second the same image let me bring both of these up so we can see and we get kind of you know a similar feel but let's say we really needed to go in and tweak this second image to get it to look a little bit more like the same same kind of uh, collection of image so this is where the reference view comes in handy so I'm going to go into develop module um, and go to reference view down the bottom here um, and you can change the orientation uh, of uh, the preview there so I want to uh, I want to bring up this image here so I'm just going to grab it and drag it or should be able to let's go back a bit bring this one in and this is the one that I want to uh, be active on I want to get the rotation rounded away um, if I can as I said I only got this this morning so don't shoot me down there we go so 
clicking this several times will change the orientation of the screen. So here's the, my reference image. It says here reference, and this is my active image. So what I want to do is just make this fit in with this one a little bit better and because it's got different colors in it um, in what have you it's uh, never gonna match exactly so it just means we can fine-tune it so I can come into my exposure and maybe add a little bit more warmth to the picture like so I can get my radial filter here maybe that's not in the right spot which is not I'll probably want that over here because it's trying to just add like a little bit of a flared look to the image so we can rotate that like so maybe just put the dehaze on a little bit to add a little bit more effect we may decide that actually the split tone in on this doesn't need to be so harsh so we can bring down the saturation a little bit some of that or strengthen it Let's bring down the highlights down a little bit, like so. And we may also may want to add a bit more of a vignette to the picture. So it just means we visually we've got something we can reference on the same screen. And like I said, that might not seem a big deal to you, but I've obviously gone through a lot of images and applied the same effect to a batch of images. As I said, you're never going to exact get it exact. You sometimes need to go and fine tune it. And before, it was a pain because you never had a reference image on screen to work with. You have to keep dancing between the library module and the develop module. And with this new feature, um, I think it's a great, great uh, new upgrade uh, to Lightroom. And it's going to be a, a real time saver. So as I said, this is a, a new feature. It literally dropped onto my screen this morning saying there was an update to Lightroom. I looked at the update and I thought, oh, that sounds like it'll be a real handy. So I had a quick play with it. So I'm pretty much doing this tutorial as I'm learning it myself. There is a couple of other features within the uh, the reference view. You can do a before and after if you, by clicking this button. And it gives you uh, the little drop down box here. And it gives you uh, various ways of viewing this on the screen. You can go before and after. Uh, split on the screen like that uh, before and after left to right split so it actually splits the image down the middle which I quite like and there's a couple of other options there as well um, doing top to bottom splits etc and what this means is you can obviously come in let's say we uh, want to uh, adjust the vignette it'll show you what it looks like on the one side of the screen there it also I believe shows you uh, the image before you started making adjustments uh, on the on the, on the image and where you are to date um, but again I need to go in and uh, look a little bit further into those functions on here probably not uh, something I'd probably use as much as the uh, as a reference view uh, when I'm comparing two images side by side but uh, nonetheless still, still some uh, very good uh, new features in there and it's also you can soft proof which again is, is great uh, if you do uh, printing so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial um, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Cheers for watching.